So here we are in the main homepage of eShare. Uh, we have a menu in front of us that will allow us to access the principal areas of the software. We have the model, which is where we can see the, the 3D area. We have the document library. We have a thing called the map, which is like a, a 2D slices through the project, like a general arrangement, allows us to see where we are in terms of kind of a 2D view. And we also have the search. So we'll start by accessing the 3D model. So here we have our 3D view of our project, it's kind of typical um, view of a, a kind of a CAD model in shaded view. On the left hand side, we have the hierarchy and there are a number of different versions of this that we can um, work with. And on the right hand side, we see the attributes of the objects that we've got currently selecting. So here we have a, a shell plate, it's uh, 10 millimeters thick, for example. So I'm going to navigate the project a little. You can see using the mouse, I can walk around the areas very easily. I also have um, access to the typical style of game keys moving around. Um, that, this is kind of one way of accessing the model. Uh, if you're a kind of a cab person like my background, then you can also access kind of it in terms of a uh, orbiting around the object, which allows us to select um, on different elements and we can kind of uh, review what's on and around the, the particular area of interest. We can save our different views. Um, so for example, if I wanted to kind of go to another particular area, I've got something already saved. So here we're, we're jumping up to the bridge, kind of giving us a, an overview of the deck. And we can see here, kind of like in a reviewing capacity, that I have quite look, what looks like quite a, a tight clearance between the, uh, the bridge windows and the um, handrail around the outside. So maybe I want, in terms of reviewing, to, to check that out. So using the measurement tool, I can put in a few dimensions. So I can kind of collect up the information that we've got there. And we see, okay, the clearance is mm, not, not particularly generous, but not tight. So you kind of confirm that that's probably uh, an okay design. And later on, I'll be capturing, um, going through a process of what should happen if um, I wanted to raise that as, a, as an issue and capture that for further work. So using the scenes, we can also look at other areas of the ship. So if I wanted, say, for example, to do a nice cutaway, I can jump here. We've got um, a slice through the ship. Um, I quite like this kind of views because it allows us to look through all of the systems of the vessel. And if I wanted to, I could go in and inspect some systems. Uh, it's kind of more of a, a sexy view than anything else. So, OK, here we have a system inside the engine room. What is it? It's a, a sewage treatment plant. So I can find out what is going on uh, with the items in front of me fairly, fairly easily. So now moving to a, a different area of the software, we can look at our document library. So this is our hierarchy of different documents. They can come from different areas. So we here we have a, a section for documents on our hard disk and the upper section is from an external document management system. And we can go in and browse the different documentation. We can load it up. And we can see the documents behind the scenes that are being brought in by the system. So here we have a, um, a foundation for a hydraulic power unit. And we can go in and expect the drawings uh, as we need. Um, we'll come back to the drawings and documents uh, in a later stage of the videos. Uh, now I've accessed the map. As I said, this is kind of a, a 2D slice through the project, taking information that's typical of, say, a general arrangement drawing. Uh, this allows us to not only see some of the interesting points, this is a smart point, we use them a little bit later, but it also allows me to position the camera in a particular location in the ship. So I'm going to click in the propulsion room and draw uh, a camera object, and we can see here uh, the next place that we're going to jump to, uh, we're going to 
get a bit interested around some of the systems in this area of the vessel.